So we've already seen that the, the slash is a special character. It, it, it indicates to LaTeX that we're about to give it a command of some sort. So for example, if we use document class article, we also see that the curly brackets are special characters. Um, they don't compile to curly brackets. Another one is the percent sign. That's how we um, tell the LaTeX compiler to ignore what we're about to write. Um, another way of saying this is that we write comments with percentage signs. So there are various classes of documents. Um, we will see a few later. Note here that I'm still on the first line. We can see the line number here. I'm still on the first line. It's just that it's being displayed in a wrapped fashion because of uh, the size of which I'm compiling this. I can make that a little bit uh, bigger. Um, so we can include a, a comment if we wanted to. There, You don't want to excessively use comments, but they might, if you're doing something a bit more complicated, as we'll see later, they might be helpful. Or if you want to clarify where sections are, they can be helpful. This line starts the document. And then uh, we can sh take a look at another type of special character, um, which is how do we use quotes? Um, so with LaTeX, we need to actually use a different character for the start of a quote and the end of a quote. So here is how to use, and um, we use this little back tick here um, for the left quote mark, single quotes, and we use uh, the single quote for the right um, quote. And here is how to use double. Nope, let me. So doubles, we just do two of them to use double quotes. And then I'm going to end uh, the document. And now if I um, compile this, um, we can see. We've got the single quotes and the double quotes, and also that things that had the percentage sign before them do not appear in the document.